on the east side of Los Angeles, at the corner of Boyle Avenue and First Street, musicians skilled in the mariachi tradition of Mexico gather to share their dreams and find jobs. Tonight on Life and Times, three lives intersect at La Boile. Jose Hernandez, successful leader of his own mariachi band, recent immigrant, Heriberto Vargas, and Charles Gonzalez, who may have let the dream slip through his fingers. Major funding for Life and Times is provided by the James Irvine Foundation, which is dedicated to the development of an informed California citizenry, with additional support from GTE, a company committed to telecommunications excellence and an open dialogue among all people. Look at this corner here on First and Boyle. And this is, doesn't matter what time of the day or night you come here, there are always groups that are ready to perform. People, this is like a, uh, you know, an employment station where people will just come up and say, there's a party, will you play? They hire them and they go and play. There's so much talent that we have that reside here in the community of Boyle Heights and music, is probably one of the greatest forms of communicating the richness of our cultural uh, traditions. This is a place where mariachis come already. The city needs places to present music and we hope that people will see this as a place that can become a real formal plaza for mariachi music. And, and, and it's really a tribute to the artists that come here from Mexico and are really presenting something very, very important to our city. And it's, it's a tribute to them. It's a recognition of the importance of their art. When I was 10 years old, I actually started playing trumpet in the band. But because I used to see my, my older brothers playing with Mariachi Vargas at Tecaditlan, who has been the, the best mariachi in the world, you know. Uh, that was so motivating for me. And then also seeing my older brother Jesus playing in the band, uh, in the public school band. So I, I played trumpet. I picked up the trumpet when I was 10. And uh, my father used to take me to go see them play. Sometimes it would be with, with uh, Miguel Aceves Mejia with Amalia Mendoza, Lola Beltran, and sometimes they would also play at the Santa Anita Racetrack. I remember when they made Mariachi Los, Los Galleros, 1968, more or less. I was 10, 11 years old. Voy a agarrar clases de música y me van a dar una trompeta, pero necesito tu firma allí. One day, Jose came home from school and said, Papa, I'm here because I'm taking music lessons and I'll be given a trumpet. That's the way he got started. 
I never forced him to play, but on the other hand, he saw me playing music all the time. Originally, mariachi ha has always been brought down from generation to generation. This is my uh, great-great-grandfather, who was the earliest uh, mariachi musician in the Hernandez dynasty. And uh, he played violin. And this is my grandfather, Jose Hernandez, who also played violin, just like his father, Crescencio. And my, my father played violin also, third generation uh, violinist. And this is Mariachi Sol de Mexico. This is at the Hollywood Bowl in 1991, Mariachi USA. Like right here we played uh, Serenata Nocturna, a night serenade of, of, of Mozart. We played a little part of that to get people to understand that mariachi musicians are not as limited as a lot of people think, that they only play two or three chords and they don't know that much music. <laughs> Okay. My brother Pedro, his group, and, and my group, Sol de Mexico, we're very happy to be a part of that album with Linda Ronstadt a few years back. And, uh, it's great. I mean, it served as motivation for a lot of people. I know that a lot of the young musicians, you know, they come here to Los Angeles hoping that they're going to better their, their, their lives, and, uh, not only musically, but monetarily. I had friends who had been to La Boile, so they told me how difficult it was going to be to find work. At that time, all I thought was to make it to La Boile. When you don't have a choice, you have to risk everything. Now I have my son and my wife with me, so I need to work harder with my music and make more money. She's taking English lessons in the school every morning, and I stay with my boy. She needs the English more than I do, so she can find work too. Before my wife and son came, I lived in a room at the Hotel La Boile with Beto, Chava, and a guy they called El Güero. I never knew his real name. When we didn't have work, we would stay in the room and practice a new song or just play until very late sometimes. <laughs> Almost all the mariachis who live in the hotel live alone. I mean, they come here without their families. They leave their wives and children in Mexico because that's the only way they can save money after paying rent, food, and everything else.
Muchos son los jefes de grupo, nomás tienen el, es el jefe de grupo y no tienen... The way you get work plan. here is through the leader. No tiene ninguno ahí. He is the one who has the job. So he comes looking for musicians to go play at a party, a restaurant or a serenade somewhere. Most everybody here doesn't have a regular job. You get to play with new guys all the time. After a month here, you have played with most of them. And they know if you're good or not. My reason for coming here to La Boile is because every so often uh, a new group of musicians from Mexico come over and a lot of times there's some really good talent that that ends up playing here on Boyle Street or waiting for jobs and and sometimes this is the you know, this is my first choice I come here and I and I see somebody that I could probably help somebody that's interested in in, in, in learning more music and uh, it's, it's a really neat place to come I haven't been here in two years but I know that I'm not gonna go back to my home without without seeing a few good talents out here. Here it is, first street. Está el pico de oro. Old friends. ¿Qué pasó, pues? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Vamos, primo, aviéntate. Sácalo. ¡Chule! ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Listos para...? Listos, listos, listos. ¿A chambear? ¿A trabajar? ¿Estás listo para trabajar? ¿Estás listo para trabajar? Ah, you are the Mariachi Jalisco. I'll be here from 2 to 6. Eric, can you come and play with us tomorrow? Sure, I'll be here tomorrow. I'm glad you can join us. Have you seen La Aguja? Is that him? Pico! You play good, remember? You're very talented. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't played in a, in a year. Remember, you're very talented, remember? We this little one. So you this one. <laughs> When you shape up, sí, sí, sí. when you're gonna shape up, sí, te, sí, te when are you gonna shape up? Sí, te, I don't wanna see you like that. Listen to me, listen to me. If I promise you that by next week you I shape won't up. have one no, no, no. drink. You take I don't me wanna see me. you like that. You take me. You I don't try have me. to try you. I know you're talented. You we started together it. practically, you know. Okay, I don't have to try you. I know you're talented. You just you're not all there right now. That's okay. True. You have a lot of problems? Are you hurt inside or something? Hey? It was, but not now. Are you okay? Well, don't yeah. don't, don't, you don't hurt what? yourself like that. Okay. No, no, no. Right now, right, right, right now, I'm really, I'm really going, going up. Yeah. Because you know what? I was, I was uh, the, the guys that were You're too laying, young to be laying, falling into that. They were laying in the, the street. Yeah. Yeah, they were really bad. But uh, I got, I got, I got over what? Emotionally, you were yeah, what, bad. What, 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 what happened? So now I, I didn't even have, I didn't even have, you know, I haven't been in, in a year. I didn't have a trumpet. Don't, Don't drink uh, nothing till tomorrow uh, then. Okay, what trumpet is this? Uh, is this uh, your own mouthpiece or is this any? Uh, I use any mouthpiece. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm not, not, when are you, are you gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah. Till mañana. Tomorrow I'm gonna bring you a trumpet. I'm gonna give it to you. But well, you promised me that you practice. But what time are you gonna see me? I'm gonna be here at five. I'm going to bring my group tomorrow. We're going to play here. Okay. Okay? I'm going to bring you a trump. I'm going to give it to you. But well, you know what? I'm going to play just one song with you. Okay? I want to play one song. Tomorrow, with you. mañana, come with me. 
I promise someone. You know what? Even if I don't, if I don't go to work today, mm -hmm. I'm gonna play one song with you tomorrow. Okay. Hay muchas grabaciones esta. Es la única trompeta que tengo con mi nombre. It's the only trumpet that I have with my name, and it brought me a lot of luck, my business, my mariachi, and I'm gonna give it to to la aguja if I find them around here or somewhere. This is a gift from me to him. And I hope. Pues ojalá que no me la venda, pero ya va a ser de él, ¿no? We've been here all morning, and a couple hours ago, the police came over and took away la aguja. No, really? Why? How, how? What happened? He was kind of a he was out kind of shape. Kind, kind of happy. Contento de más, really? One of these days I'm going to talk to him again. Maybe music can save his... Music is going to save him because he is a, uh, a natural musician. Believe it or not, the way uh, we've seen him uh, the other day, that's not him. You know, I remember him in a more positive way. That's why I felt sort of moved and sort of bugged emotionally to see him that way because I know that he has a lot of natural talent. And uh, we're the same age, we're both 33. And we've known each other since we were 15 or 16 years old. So this trumpet to me means a lot. I've had it there for the past two years. And uh, I said one day I was gonna give it to maybe my son, to somebody that I care about. And I, when I saw him, it's been so, so many years since I've seen him that I do care about the guy a lot. I'm sure he's going to appreciate it once he sober, sobers up. Eres un ángel criatura con esos divinos ojos, con esos divinos ojos. Eres un ángel criatura y esa ceja tan oscura y ese par de labios rojos, y ese par de labios rojos. Que cubren tu dentadura.
I'd like to introduce a local talent from this plaza, a mariachi from La Boile. His name is Heriberto Vargas. Please welcome him with an applause. If you have comments on this or any other Life and Times program, you can write, call, or email us at any of the numbers or addresses on the screen. Please remember to include your name, phone number, and permission to use your comment on the air. Major funding for Life and Times was provided by the James Irvine Foundation, which is dedicated to the development of an informed California citizenry with additional support from GTE, building better communities through communication. Thank you.